also, um, we are getting ready for some pretty severe storms from what they're calling for. So we're just getting some stuff set around, trying to make sure uh, everything's ready for the storms. We do have the barn opened up for right now. We'll have to close that up, but we are getting some bales put inside. We're gonna make a TMR mix here just to make sure that we're ready. Uh, we don't have to open up the barn or anything. Um, we have been having quite the weather patterns this week. On Saturday we had, uh, we went from 70 degrees, I think it went down to like in the 20s. And there were some pretty severe storms that came through. They, about 15 miles from here, we had a, a farmer that lost several barns, um, several cattle barns, and several million dollars of damage to those. And we had an F1 tornado touch down close by to here as well. So now we're back up to the 60s here. And um, back up to the 60s here, and they're expecting that it goes back down into the 30s tomorrow so we're just making sure we have everything ready uh, they're calling for some pretty severe weather again tomorrow or today I mean this afternoon so trying to make sure that the cattle are bedded well and that's why we we're kind of cleaning out the walkway earlier about opening the barns up um, once the storms comes through again if it's anything like the one that we had Saturday we got lucky on Saturday uh, didn't get any damage the farmer was out in the uh, hoop house feeding the calves and he had to keep running out to make sure there wasn't something coming he thought it was gonna blow away on him so Hopefully this storm that's coming up uh, this afternoon won't be as bad, but there's a lot of work to get done here just to make sure that all of that stuff gets done um, and we don't have too much to worry about should we get anything really bad. So one of the other things that we uh, did here today, um, we were working on the j mixer, the handle that operates the door would keep getting stuck um you can see we have a, a nice thick washer on there now the washer that was on there was this thing right here you can see it's thin it's flimsy not not very heavy duty and it kept getting bent and that bent part would get caught in here um so that when you're trying to move it up and down it would just get stuck so we tried to flatten this out um, and reuse it, but it just wasn't working the way that we wanted it to. So you can see we got, we got this thick washer right here, the thick one right there that's a lot wider than what this original one was. I don't know if you can see that. It's a lot wider than the original one. And then we put two washers on the other side as well. We put a, a smaller one and a larger one just to allow it to, to move smoothly so that the smaller one wouldn't get stuck. And you can see it's a lot easier to operate now. It doesn't get stuck and it works really well. So that's one of the other things that we got done here today. While we're getting ready for this uh, storm that's supposed to be coming. I don't know if you can tell from the earlier video, you can see the, the clouds are moving in. It's just some really weird weather that we've been having here. It's hard to believe February you get a tornado warning or have one touch down for that matter, at least here in Pennsylvania. But getting things cleaned up, getting them put away um, and just doing some minor repairs here and there uh, fixing things up for for the storm so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video
Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.